Dear Minister Mayo, due to your recent request for marital-style confessions, I feel convulsed to put rather expensive and flash pen to cheap bit nasty paper. Uh, my confession centres around the wedding of my oldest brother. Oh, I ought to say, says Dean, I am one of five brothers of Irish stock. Okay, now my oldest brother is Leslie, who for reasons best known to himself, left it until he was 36 to marry, meaning that he was the last of our clan to wed bad move. Nasty stack night wedding style tricks had got progressively worse from wedding to wedding within our brotherhood. Boys will be boys as they say and we certainly didn't let this theory down. Not satisfied with teenage tricks such as snails down the back of youngest brother Niall and a good pat on his back for being such a great fellow. Our marital frolics were far more vindictive. John the second eldest and first to marry suffered only a very minor discomfort. He had help written on the soles of his shoes which is rather pathetic and rather boring. Uh, followed by myself, second to marry, dustbin full of water sewage on car roof after reception. Not too bad. This is him saying not too bad. Niall had the misfortune of waking up in Shepherd's Bush Police Station, one hour and five miles away from his wedding. Uh, yet the best was yet to come. Leslie's wedding followed ours by over four years. Plenty of time to plan. Plotting these things, incidentally, is often as much fun as carrying them out. Ideas range from the silly, such as tying him to the distance sign at Land's End, to ridiculous, like leaving him tied naked to the roof rack of his future in-law's car in Surbiton. <laughs> not, not a wise thing at all. This is what we settled for, Simon. I was uh, the best man, so I was nominated to carry out the dastardly deed. For some crazy reason, Leslie asked me to book a hotel room for them to stay the night. Himself and his rather attractive future wife, that is. So I found a room in a good hotel at a good price for him and uh, accidentally mislaid the key when I went to look over it. Ha ha. This is just a foretaste of what's to come. Leslie was a rather nervous person, uh, particularly about the wedding and the wedding night. Not for reasons such as, will I look good, will I get my lines right, etc., but because he'd... Ringlet. I didn't know you had lines on your wedding night. Apparently so. We always have to follow the script. But because, mainly, he'd ringled many of the previous wedding frolics and feared that we had it in for him. I assured Leslie that he had little to worry about as we were all many years wiser and we were above such childish games. To Leslie's astonishment, the stag night went without a hitch and the wedding ceremony went perfectly. Leslie and Anne, his new wife, thanked me wholeheartedly at the end of the evening reception. I really thought that you lot were up to something, confessed Leslie. Anne agreed and a pat on, uh, I got a peck on my cheek and a pat on my back and the couple left for their consummation, says Ian. The following morning, Leslie and Anne emerged from bed and ordered breakfast. Ten minutes later, an efficient lad arrived at the door and wheeled in a trolley full of breakfast goodies. He then said, Breakfast for two? To Leslie's horror, a muffled voice emitted from beneath the bed. No, better make it three. <laughs> I was so full of laughter I couldn't run, and Les gave me a good duffing over. He's since forgiven me, though. Now will you. I don't intend to uh, do such a nasty thing again. Anyway, I've run out of brothers. I expect complete absolution. Yours piously, James Quinton. I'll say 5,000 Hail Marys uh, if you help my case. Well, um, it's a great sketch, and I expect that to turn up in some uh, TV sitcom. I forgive you, certainly. Nice one. Oh, it's classic. It's so good. I've got to forgive it. Nice time. Better make it three. Damn. I'm speechless. Absolutely no forgiveness at all. Oh, and your on. brothers have got permission to come round and give you a good kick in. He's already had a duffing over. What about our studio management collective? Forgiveness? Yes. Oh, no. Say no.